Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I just want to show you how Vim and specifically like Vim macros can help you so much. And it's just very, like very easy, but extremely effective and saving thousands of hours. So basically, I'm going to be going to Indonesia in a couple months. So I'm going to learn, I want to learn a bit of it. And um, currently I'm learning some Italian. Same method, just learning uh, the most, uh, well, like one method to help me learn is like learning the thousand most common words for Anki. And Anki, it's just like flashcards. So you can like add a card and then, you know, you type the front back. Let's say like the word is like ciao, then that means hi. And then you can just add that to a deck. Um, and essentially, yeah, but I was trying to find a pre-made, like for the Italian cards, I just found pre-made deck. So it was very easy for me because it's a popular language. But Indonesian, not learn, it's not learnt as much. And I was looking at the decks that are available. There's none that is just the thousand most common words. And from the reviews that people have left, they say like, ah, oh, it's kind of bad. Like it's not accurate. So I was like, ah, oh, I'm going to have to make my own deck. And then, you know, I was trying to find a source. I'm like, okay, found one. But like, this is a thousand words. It's going to take me a while to type in, you know, like the word like sire and then I and then Naya and then his, and then Bala, and then that, you know, like it's just gonna take forever. And then apparently you can actually import like a CSV file and then instantly it just works. And then I found this and it's a CSV file of all the 2000 most common words. I'm like, okay, 2000, not bad. But the problem is, the problem is, is that the word is kind of, like the word list is pretty bad because they get it from like subtitles, which, you know, it might seem like, okay, like how, often that word occurs in subtitles maybe it's accurate but then you get weird words like i remember i saw it like you're telling me the word mars yeah mars is more common than the word sky or like scientists like you tell you tell me you is less common than scientists it's very weird like it obviously depends on what kind of source they're using some words it's like oh do i really need to know that the word america means america America. I think that's how you'd say it. like America means America. Like I can guess that. Like I don't need to learn that word. So the list was bad. And then this list was from what I've seen the best one. Like it seems like realistic. Like, yeah, I guess it's realistic that the word sire is gonna be one of the most common in Sabagai as nya nya is his bawa. You know, like it, it seems realistic. And you know, looking for it, I didn't really spot any really weird, like, it looks generic, like, it looks like what I'd expect the English, like, most common thousand words is, like, roughly, you know, roughly, roughly speaking, but, like, again, like, am I gonna do this, and then that, and then that, and then that, like, input, it's just gonna take forever, until I figured out, you know, CSV file, maybe we can be a bit smart, and, you know, save some time with Vim, so, first thing we're gonna do, is gonna do inspect element, and if we look at this table, we can see that, it's contained within this T body. So we're just gonna copy, we're gonna open up Vim, paste that in, and then here it comes. So I'm just gonna, let's get into it. So I'm gonna show you my clicking, like what I'm like, what buttons I'm clicking. So it's a little bit easier for you guys, but pissing myself off. So we got the text, we got the tables. So, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press Q and then we're gonna press A to make a new macro to record it at the position, at the like, area like q is to record and then a is like you p select what character you want to record so recording to q or i could record to let's say q i could record onto the character g or the record onto uh one or something like that but we're going to do q a so now it's recording all the keystrokes i'm doing so the first thing i'm going to do is actually before i record i'm going to delete all this header information because it's unnecessary then we got this we got the header tr then we got one we got the word sabagai and then as end of that character and then you know we can see that it's each content so we've got one sabagai guy as two saya i and so on and so forth so we're going to go to the top we're going to delete or oh, first we're going to record so we're going to press q and then the character i'm going to do a in this case i'm going to delete the first two lines because it's just unnecessary i don't care about the number or the tr like i want to get rid of that now we want to select the um sorry actually now what we're going to do is we're going to press V to select visual mode and then we're going to press F and then search for the first instance of whatever character I want to find. So I want to find this character, the, um, what do you call that? I don't know, that left thing. So uh, again, to visual 
f select oh wait i accidentally messed it up i'm gonna do visual f and then select that character we're gonna press delete next we're gonna do the same thing we want to find the new instance of that other character we're gonna press visual we're gonna press dollar sign to select everything after that including the new line character delete it and then it deletes the new line character and brings the new line up now we're going to do visual select that delete and then we're going to insert a comma we're going to escape it brings us back and essentially that's the comma separator so it's going to read cyber guy comma separator so it separates it and then as and that selects into the two different fields into the anki card now we're going to select the next left pointing arrow and then i'm going to do the same thing visual f um actually no there's no need to press f so we're just gonna i'm gonna escape out of that so we press visual and then we're just gonna do dollar sign but we're gonna move back to not delete the terminating character and then after that we go down we delete this bottom header and then we start with a new top header and then that's it so now if i press q again it's done with the macro and if i press alt or oh, sorry at q oh wait no, no, no if i press oh no i forgot oh at a sorry okay i had a brain fart if i press at and then the key where i selected it a it's going to do the same thing oh look size down now if i press at a it just automatically does this then what you can do is because there's a thousand words when to do uh well delete it it doesn't matter there's a thousand words and we know that there's less than a thousand words so we press a thousand at a and it just does it and then boom like i just it just it just does all the cards for me and then done claim claim there you go column oh wow it's actually kind of molecule is molecule <laughs> okay it's gonna be not that bad to learn but if we scroll now we should see all the words are correct like you know it's all sorted correctly um, there's no additional information um, it's all perfect so it's as simple as that once we do that what we can do is we can save this file as um, what would you call it oh, no, Indonesian test dot CSV then I'm just gonna delete turn this off and then after that if we go back to the Anki deck so I'm just gonna delete this deck uh, what we're going to do is create a new deck called Indonesian a thousand uh, most common words. It creates a new deck. And all we're going to do now is we're going to import file. I'm going to see that I already did this uh, last night. I figured it out. But we've got this new deck here, Indonesian test.csv. Open that. And then we just want to make sure it goes into the Indonesian deck that we just created. And then you can see, like, we have the words, like, the first word, Saba guy, as, Saya, Anya, his, Bawa, that, the, uh, he. And it, you know, sorted all out by itself. And we also got the basic and reverse card, which means that it creates one entry, Saba guy, as. And then it also create another entry, as, Saba guy. So we have a thousand words. So that will leave us with 2,000 different cards. And um, after that, it's all done. You know, it's separated by a comma. And then we just press import. You can see all the cards that it's going to be importing. And then after that, we got this deck. And if we start going through it, Saba guy, it's going to say as, and so on and so forth. So Saba guy as, Saya, I, Nya, his, Bawa, that, I think, the, uh, I don't remember, he. So then, yeah. I mean, it's as simple as that. And if we go to the stats, it should say that there is 2,000 cards. Yeah. So it's as simple as that. You can add thousands hundreds of cards just from a already like you know some kind of like uh, table like this and then from there you can easily just generate all kinds of decks that you want in Anki or anything but it's not actually specifically Anki but yeah you want to think about you want to take the lesson of the macros you know the macros just can save you time formatting stuff like that you know if you want to take the deck or like take the HTML and just compress it in a way that it's like clean like this then that's all you need to do so it's as simple as that i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new and um you know it's helped me <laughs> it's helped me it saves me hundreds of hours yeah if you like please like please subscribe it helps me out and i'll see you guys next time peace